So, yeah. Ooh, we, we understand the uh, alignment for the assignment and the assignment for the alignment, but you just, uh, remember how I've been craving pomegranate juice for like the last, uh, two weeks? Pomegranate tea, rather, pomegranate tea, but, uh, I found pomegranate juice in two places. So essentially, I guess it's the same thing. This is some really healthy stuff. Pomegranate juice is ironic that it's hard to find, which proves to me that it's even more healthier than I, 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 I've, I've researched that it is. Because, of course, when it's really, 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 really healthy, it's hard to find. Like, you remember when we had good cornflakes? Like, I remember, like, I, I've been on a search an, again. I'm probably going to have to go to, like, order them out of Canada or overseas, which is weird that you would have to order your food from outside of the country to get healthy food. You should ask yourself, why is America, <laughs> in all its greatness, are some of the fattest fucks in the whole entire world, yet they think they know everything. They think they know everything. First off, you don't even have your body or your weight. You don't even have your physical self together. You either go to the the, the fat, funky, overly fat, overly beast. Well, we're not body shaming because we're proud of our bodies, but you have all types of stuff going on. You can sashay, shanche your, your ass all over the place, but if your blood pressure is still high, if, you're, if your digestive gut is like not working right, Jesus ain't going to lift you up. Oh my gosh. I just, I just, oh God. You know who woke me up this morning? Okay, I'm going to play your narrative. Jesus woke, no, I can't even do it. I can't even lie like that. I can't even lie. I can't even lie. I can't even lie. I can't even lie. Why can't I lie? Because somebody's got to rep integrity, and I guess it's going to be me. Because I look around, and all I see is cap, 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 cap. Good thing Saturdays and Pisces, because I'd be capping back naturally. Yes, to my other mother, you're right. It's really sad when you feel like you got to sleep with a loaded, you know, a, a loaded weapon. Like, you know, who must you trust or who don't you trust? And why is the reason I don't trust? How about that? Let's start with, let's start with the first question. Remember me? Remember me? We're going to, we're going to the astrology wheel right now. Oh, a vow. That's just, that, 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 that's just demon work. That's just demonry. Let me tell you Christians, especially some of you black Christians, especially some of you hardcore, no, you. I'm up here struggling with how my daddy would say it and how my mother would say it. And you know, I'm right here in the middle. I'm, 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 I'm right here. I'm the nice, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the nice little thin layer between like, you know, why should I care? And I don't give a fuck. Remember, you woke me up to do this, mommy, daddy. This is a cracker, by the way. My body don't even like crackers. Unless I got mumps or something. But you tell, you tell people that eating this and drinking wine on communion day, that signifies drinking. Listen to what you say, Christians. Listen to what you say with different ears and eyes. And how this goes into the mind of your child. Your child who's not wise, according to you, right? Because you're supposed to be teaching your child in the ways of the what? In the ways of the what? In the ways of the world? The father, the mother. You never talk about the mother. You always say, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Right off the bat. Right off the bat, you done gone astray. Right off the bat, you done taken mother right out the game. Holy Spirit. You've taken Eve. You've taken Lilith. You've taken all the powerful women in the Bible. There were so many powerful women Real powerful women back there in the day. Well, Val, how do you know? How do you know? You teach it. You swear it so. You swearing from Paul, Saul, whatever his name, a person that I do remember, he lied three times. 
How can you trust a person that lies three times to your face? Do you trust people? You, clearly you do. Clearly you do. Stick with one subject. But here's a dirty old ass cracker. I, by the way, I eat crackers. I don't bow to crackers. Is that message applied to you? Sip my pomegranate tea, wash that stuff down, and it'll come out of my system. I just eat in a bit. Take me some fiber. I'm good. But this is what you say to your kid in church, to everybody. Because we all are children of the Most High. I don't give a damn how old you are, or how wise you think you be, or how much money you have. I told you, the sun discriminates on nobody. The real sun... Not the sun y'all be talking about. The real sun, the real, whatever, you, okay, the whole, the hologram, wherever you want, take the sun away. Take the, take the hologram sun away and see how your life is today. Some of y'all in misery now. It's rainy and it's cloudy. And y'all, and we always talk about how when it gets, when you get less of sun in the wintertime, how, you know, your, your immunity system kind of goes down and you need more vitamin D. Vitamin D is in the vitamin D, not vitamin D. You know what? Y'all be like messing with you. Be, I'm I'm barely awoke, and I'm saying this with such integrity. Like, look at the genius in me. Like, my God, Prager, you, TED Talk. Why don't you invite somebody like me at your debate? You get somebody like Lizzo. Shall we not recall what I just said? Maybe about ten minutes ago or five minutes ago. You get somebody like Lizzo, TED Talk. What's Lizzo's advice for the world? How can she inspire every man and girl about not body shaming? You mean Lizzo the hoe? <laughs> Lizzo to do these? Okay, all right. Do that, TED Talk. That shows your credibility. Maybe some of us already knew how Lizzo was or was going to be. Some people will do anything because they just want to be famous. Girl had a skill but couldn't keep it real. Now, 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 look. Better watch when the devil comes to you and promises you stuff. <laughs> the devil will give you exactly what the devil promised you. Not what you thought it was. Still eating a cracker. But my body doesn't like crackers. Message. Still drinking my pomegranate juice. Because Segment don't drink no wine anymore. And this was a holy season for me. Speaking of which, prager you. So... Prager, you's gonna have this little sus narrative boy, which I think he's another one of these little bully bitches who's trying to get you know a little incel incest, but he fits the narrative of that, okay? Or or the person who just wants to be the digital content creator. These digital concrete these digital content creators who the only thing they can do is inspire views through gossip or rumors or just negative stuff because they don't have enough in them. To, to bring out something that's of credibility. You can't expect a person who's not credible to be credible. Which gets back to Prager you. See, this is the thing with me. I literally, look look at me. You don't see me just all around black people, all around white people, all around certain around people. I will listen to you with an indiscriminate eye. I don't, an, an ear. I, I don't initially discriminate. My dear, look, I hang around everybody. But I've seen the hate that comes from white people who don't know who they are. Again, to those of you who love Hitler, you need to do your research. When I was reading and reading and reading and reading and reading, his mother has a little has some Jewish ancestry in her. The doctor that uh didn't kill her, the doctor's trying to help her when she was sick. She died. People get sick, they die. He was Jewish, a part Jewish, so of course. Whatever is going through Hitler and his mind, I keep telling you, pe you, you people, I'm saying you people, I can say you people with mommy and daddy issues. Y'all be effed up. You people need to get that stuff straight first before you talk to anybody. I'm pretty sure Lizzo has mommy and daddy issues, or why would she do the things she do? Or maybe that issue wasn't you, that you want to be famous, that you put your butt up at anybody. Anybody wants to go and swing both ways, so if you don't do that, then you can't rise up and get your pay like I got to be gay, I got to be bi, I got to suck a dick or suck a click before you even give me a platform on my stuff when you want to steal from me. Oh, I'm not that bitch. And that part, I got to be the bitch or the bad witch. Oh, I'm that part. You know what? And, and, and 
Prager you. Let's stick, let's get to you. So this little boy, probably I call him a little boy because I'm a grown ass, ass woman. I'm 67 years old. So I want you to debate with me. I'm calling out everybody on Prager. You bring me to your table. No, you come to my table. Because I see what you all do. Y'all like to do that little setup debate shit. But nah, you're gonna meet me on my class. You're gonna meet me on my table of integrity. Because I don't trust none of you. Because, you know, you go around people like that. And then when you start telling the truth, they love to turn off your mic, right? So we're going to do this fair. We're not going to do this at all. In fact, you know what? P piss off. I'm not even about to debate with you. I'm just going to drop this ball and drop this knowledge on you. So this little boy, this little sus-ass wannabe clout-chasing co uh, content, cr content creator... So JC is doing a mute a uh, 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 video, and this is no love. This is no JC uh, Beyonce. I am not. I am not industry like that. Okay, so please don't think that this is me like standing up for J JC the rapper JC. No, this is uh this is me standing up for another JC. So they're gonna say now you know uh they're trying to well I forgot what you call it with the, with the colorized no no like I guess JC's coming up with some movie that Jesus is notice how notice how all of them a after they've become whack and they're losing their money and all those bad deals have gone wrong oh they're going wrong you can try you can try to put that laundering money into anything but you gonna pay the piper you gonna pay the piper you gonna pay the reaper the reaper ain't me. I don't think. I don't know. Could be my daddy. Anyway, but I'm just here to tell the truth. So he's going to do so. But now, so now they all, you know, now I, I've been doing me forever. I've been doing, like, how long has his hair been like this? Like, when did Jay-Z started growing out his locks? When did all of them start growing out? They're like, like, now that they're, they're, rep they're representing Christ. It's like Trump. We're representing Christ. I might be Jesus Christ. And you might not be. <laughs> you, you might, you might be Judas, but either way. Uh, but I will say this about, I will say this about low vibe and I told you every single, and that includes a little boy and that includes the, all the people that includes your friends and and your hoe too, all low vibing Gemini's. Every single one I have ever known, every single one, has either had to go to jail or to hell before they caught a clue of who they are and what they should or should not do. Do I think Sir has got it yet? No, no. But I but it, but in respect. I got to say, once again, some of the stuff he's saying, he is not lying about. I mean, you know what? When a person is who they are, I can deal with that better than somebody who's always lying about who they are, and you're nothing like that at all. If you're a racist, just act like you're racist to me, and if we can't come on a, on a table of commonality, then fuck off. I don't need you. You're hollering, go back to the country. What country would that be? Every cracker who says, go back to your country, need to take assessment today and see. You would be nothing, 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 nothing without the other. You have built nothing. You have not built generational wealth. You have not built generational health care. You have not built your car. You didn't build your house by yourself. I am out here living off the law. Are you the mountain man? Are you the mountain man? If the mountain man know, guess what? Fuck around with Mother Nature and Mother Nature will let you know. You ain't better than me. You better sit your little mountain ass down. It'll be a tragedy. Y'all got that twist. I guess you think Mother Nature now is white. White people, man. Y'all be like, no, no, no. Crackers. My folks are cool. My folks get it. My folks get it. You can't, you see me hanging around people because I can't hang around people to get it. I do not hang around people that don't get it. Getting back to Prager U. So you're Prager University. I have deemed you a failure, failure, failure. You're like Trump. Some of the things you say, I actually listen to and I'm like, okay, okay. That's why I know you'll never get, you'll never have a, de a real debate with me. Now you can come off and you can hit with a whole bunch of comments till the cows come home. I don't give a damn, but you won't see me in person, will you? Let's have that conversation in person. Let's have the cameras on. Let's make sure the cameras stay on from the beginning to the end. If we're going to do this, my friend, let's be fair. Let's make sure the can't. Let's make let, let's meet on an army base or a military base. Let's do that. How about that? Because I don't trust anything in Hollywood. And I don't trust none of your setups. Let's trust where I trust. Weird that I would say on the military base with all the stuff going on, and you know you can't always trust the military either. But hey, you gotta pick if you gotta pick and choose a side. That's the side I'm on. It's a real culture. It's a real legacy. Like James Timmer Rockefeller, that's a real legacy. That's real building from scratch. Trump didn't do that. 
His daddy gave it money. Now you say, well, James Demer Rafa, his daddy gave him money too. Listen, let me tell you, let me tell you about this man, because y'all don't read. And it's that part. You don't read. You listen to you listen to you listen to bias, negative, racist, just wanna race bait for attention. I told you months ago that it seems like beef is the new trend. Everybody wants beef. For the record, I don't think that everybody is beefing as much as they say they are. I think that's their way of getting attention. They need attention. Because if they don't get attention, you don't give a damn about that movie. If they don't get attention, you don't give a damn about that record. If they don't get attention, you don't give a damn about them. And by the way, that Paw Patrol, I don't give a damn how many people you put in Paw Patrol. That is like the worst movie. Notice all the actors. Notice all the actors who are selling medicine. This medicine, people who said they would never do commercials, actors and actresses who said they would never do commercials, but they're doing them now. My, 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 my. Notice even how I listed this. What was last truth? Remember when the, the last shall be first, that. But getting back to Prager you. So this little sussy ass boy, like I said, I he probably m may have been an AI toy. I don't know, because that looked like artificial uh, intel. It, it, well, it wasn't, it, no, it wasn't even uh, AU. I mean, no, I mean, he was the one to say, right? But artificial unintelligence, I know. Oh my God! Two little birdies. Mom's in the house. Two of them right there, right on my pole. Right there. That is so cool. That is so cool. Okay. Okay. Mommy says you're doing good. You're doing good because you haven't like, I don't know. Well, anyway, I, I, have, I haven't said all the words I normally do. Sunday. Because I, I had such a good day with my crew. I have did enough content for the last couple of days. So I might not do anything but just rest for the next couple of weeks. We'll see. But because uh, it seems like, seems like people are saying, people are coming after you. So you better be careful. Okay. And that's why I, that's why I stay strapped. You come after me, I come after you. I'm Sugar Knight. <laughs> In reality, let that run through your head for a minute. So, uh, getting back to Prager you, who this little sussy ass boy talks about how uh, now they're trying to colorize or they're trying to like I forgot what he said. You know how they always want to say because Jay Z is making something about Jesus Christ and it's black and and but you know it's from the Middle East. Little boy, little woman, little girl, little everybody who don't get it. Let's go way way. Let's go back. Let's go way back. Way back before there were Ukrainians, before there were Russians, before there were people in the north in the hills reminding you the first woman, Lucy or whatever, the first bones were fo were, were found. Whatever I and, and I'm not gonna get caught up in semantics. Okay, everybody knows that in Africa, Nubia, Kemet. Fuck the label. Fuck the name. The area. Let's just all agree in the area. In the area, the people were dark. It's all in books everywhere. It's in books on ancient times. Look at the walls. Look at the cave markings on all the walls of every ancient civilization you've been through. All these people are of brown and dark and brass and copper hue. Hold up. Wait a minute. Ignorant people clearly don't know who keep taking drugs, dr drugs and shrimp. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Visual coming through. <laughs> Hold up. Ha. <sighs> Lord have mercy. You have to pick, you have to treat everybody like a child. My God, I'd rather deal with children than these adults that, like, all oh, y'all need y'all asses spat and spanked. I guess I'm supposed to be doing that. Anyway, this is a penny. This is a copper penny. This is a copper penny. And notice that we could, we could go on to the whole other thing why, you know, you put Lincoln on the penny and, uh, and then you turn him around. By, by the way, Lincoln, well, you know what? By now, you know. <laughs> Or some of you, if you're wise as you say you are, why would they put Lincoln on the penny? And then it turned his face around and supposed everybody, why would they do that? Why would you do that?
Why would you cut off the eye off the dollar bill and just have the pyramid, but it's not even a full pyramid? If you notice on the dollar bill, the point is off. The point is off. They've cut off the point, but you see the eye. So there's already a disconnection, a disconnection to where your real wealth and your money lies. Man, I am teaching stuff today and I'm doing this for free. This is crazy. That's where mommy says, child. You need to make them pay for this. But daddy says, you know what? Let them know because they will pay for this. Oh, you're going to pay for this. You're going to pay for these lessons where you failed at. Back to Prager you, Prager you, Prager you. Y'all, I'm coming for you because y'all think you're up and you got the platform. That's what YouTube will do. YouTube will put these people on, on, on platforms knowing they're lying. And then they got everybody else thought they were doing the right thing and they set you up. You took the content away from the great content creators who are really trying to tell you how to grow up. But let's be real. The devil doesn't want you to elevate. So that's why I activate it myself. Who needs to activate today? Drinking my pomegranate juice. Because segment don't drink no more. But you best believe when I go to Fort Fisher, I'm going to get my golden ticket. <clears throat> that was some good food. Anyway, this is a penny. What's that look like? What's that look like? What's that look like? What's that look like? Isn't it in your Bible, white people, whitish people? By the way, we white. We white. You know what white is? You're beige. You're pink. You're 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 a non-dominant color. How about that? You are a non-dominant color. That's why if there was just a world full of quote white people you'd already be dead that's why you want to that's why you want to take away roe versus way because you and the illusion is you want to keep black people down and keep black people submissive of people or people of color and you want to be like you did back in the day where you could just rape every woman and do what you want just to keep your race going because you know damn well that your race is dying this is white by the way white is colorless do you know it's interesting that white is normally to the indigenous the color of white actually in spiritual ceremonies is almost actually is almost actually it's not almost it is it signifies death like even when we get gray hair we're getting older right we're getting older but it also signifies wisdom so we should be able to embrace our wisdom and show that we've learned something from our wisdom. That's why, like I said, one of the wisest things, the craziest man I ever said, Trevor Ford, when we when we worked at uh, We Do back in the day. Oh God, memories. Uh, mm, mm. the snakes. It's the snakes for me. But he said some people. Uh, some people get old, and uh, some people just get older. Some people you can have you can have a person that gets old and and learns through experience, and you can have somebody that they, they just get old. They they just get old. They don't get wise. They just get old. You are probably surrounded by a lot of people who just get old. Back to Prager you though, because you have these people who set themselves up in positions, and you do have the industry, whoever it be. Feeding this for content, having people to get angry, because if you get angry at everybody, it's a part of the genocide that's already going on in this country. I said what I said. Well, you're going to shadow ban me now because I'm saying what I said. I told you about those damn shots. I said what I said. Something ain't right with those shots. I had the proof. I had the doctors. I had lawyers. I had professionals. YouTube cut me off three times. They took me down three times. And I, you know me. I'm my daddy's girl. So I went all up in that ass with my legalese. Yeah, 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 but I'm back on. You, sh you shut me down, but I'm back on. You should That's the thing about the truth. You can suppress the truth. You can lie about the truth. You can try to get rid of the truth. But the truth is always going to be around. The truth is always going to be around. And oh, to somebody else, no, you ratchet. You ratchet. You ratchet. You can take a ratchet ass hoe and put her in a nice fancy house or put her in some nice fancy clothes, but you're still a ratchet ass hoe. Real billionaires, I'm not talking like these little trick daddy billionaires. Real billionaires, the ones who really start from scratch, the ones who are really about building true legacy, true generational wealth, the true pioneers and the true legends, they're not going to fuck with you. Aside for a side chick, you can tell somebody's in their low vibe. That's that low vibe. That's that low chakra coming through because they're all about sex is the only thing they know and sex is the only thing they do. And they get real, real defensive when you call them out. It's like, you know, trying to, that's why I get the fact that you don't try to really help these heathens. You let life 
Life will teach him. Life will teach him. Because this person is going to end up old and gray. No, no, she's not going to end up old and gray. Like, already, you know, already your edges are going, by the way. I still got my edges. They may be gray, but I still got my edges. I'm like, <laughs> I don't look like I'm losing all my hair. In fact, my hair is still growing. Okay. I like, somehow I love it when I do my hair this way. It's cool. It's getting heavy, too, man. It's heavy. Uh, how long are you going to grow it, Val? I don't know. I'm just going to grow it till I stop growing it. I'm not going to be Doja Cat and cut it off. I'm not Doja Cat. <laughs> Wow, yeah, yeah, uh, even all of that too. Uh, anyway, but back to Prager you. So you're going to get mad at JC because you feel like they're colorizing Jesus and talking about the Middle East. And as I was saying, well before you separated the Suez Canal, all these people were brown, darkish, brass, this, in your Bible. Feet like burnished brown brass. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that little sussy little whitish boy. Look at that. So he look like more like me or like you. Let me tell you something. You guys want proof. I give you proof, but you won't get somebody like me. You go to JC because JC doesn't really have that type of degree that I have. JC does not have that intellect that I have. JC doesn't even have that mental like that I have. JC may go gangster on you, then you say CCC, but you won't come to me. We know why in reality why you won't because I'm pretty sure you are absolutely afraid of me because you know I can literally dismantle your whole damn platform in 20 20 minutes or less maybe two minutes bet come to me prager you what you're gonna have a whole bunch of comic i'm still telling the truth it doesn't it doesn't lie about the truth what's up prager you i'm the little poor girl in the trailer part what do i know what you gonna do you're coming after a poor little girl on her little platform that she's doing by herself what would jesus do that that get all up in your ass. I'm taking my whips and turning over your damn table. You, 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 you all of y'all a bunch of bad fables. No, we ain't doing that. So that set me off wrong. Like I said, that wasn't a, that wasn't uh, uh uh that wasn't a thing of showing showing any type of solidarity per se to Jay Z, the rapper Jay Z. Everybody seems to be making movies now. Okay, of G, and, you know, all of you trying to find God. Why don't you, in reality, do what you're supposed to do? Why don't you pay the people you're supposed to? Why don't you give credit back where credit's due? Why don't you stop having your wife steal and Blue Ivy steal little beats off of TikTok and then think you're the hottest thing? Why don't you stop making her like dance like she's your like she's your hoe and you the pimp? Why don't you stop doing that? Why don't you stop being a simp for yourself? First and foremost. <laughs> Why don't you stop sending these goons after me? What the fuck are these goons going to do? They ain't me and I don't want to be them. I don't want to be a part of the industry. I don't want to be a part of you. I don't want to be a part of anything you do. I am just doing me. I have helped all of you. I've done more for you than your own mothers did. That's the truth. And then you want to come and take off me? Okay, how about I take off you? But yeah, I still tell the truth. So this is, this is not even support of you, Jay-Z. This is support of the truth. But will you back me up on that? No, of course you won't. Because you a bitch bully too. I said what I said. Obviously. You guys could do so much with the community. And I'm not saying you have to give back to the community. But you're still needing the attention of community love. Because let's be real. Who's going to buy your music? Who's go who is streaming this stuff? Your your bot. This has gotten to bot land. Okay, I wish you would take away for a for two years. I wish you would take away all the award shows and just let people like uh like uh like uh Dancing with the Stars, like Dancing with the Stars. Let it be. Let people vote in on who they like. No, and let it be legal, right? Let it be like right. Let it be like have checks on it. Of who, like, again, shout out to Kevin Glover, who, like, he picked up real quick, you know, in his nominations for The Connected, how the bots kicked in, so he just kind of, like, nixed it. See, that's when you know you got a military mind that's got some military sense who could be with the industry. Kevin, you, 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 that's you, man. I can't, I am not even, I'm not even going to do what you do, but I support you in what you do because I've seen what you do in reality. And I've always approved of what you do in reality, giving uh, up-and-coming artists a platform. But then what do they do for you? I know. You try to help people out and then they F you. 
And remember, we already we already talked about a little clout chasing hoe from here who said, I'm doing the same thing too. And, da, 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 da. and I said, don't let her get up in your stuff because she steals from everybody. She, we're doing this, we're doing this. And the only thing she does is steal money. But hoes do what hoes do. Always will and always will. So anyway, but back to Prager you. Are you a bad hoe too for bad news? Fake news, Prager you. Your real instructor is in the house. And I say, you're just trying to chase for clout. Because if you really believed what you say, and you, I guess you said, well, see, I got her attention, okay? No, yeah, you did. Because you did something that was totally wrong, and I just clapped back. So what type of time you on? You don't, you don't even see, you don't care about being embarrassed. You think you're going to get some money from that? You're not. Prager you, you're in check. If I can check the president, if I can check Trump, and I can check Biden, I can check you too. I am not afraid of you, Prager you. Should you be afraid of me? I don't know, should you? What would Jesus say and Jesus do? Is that all I had to say today? I think I had a lot more to say. But I was say, I had a dream last night. Oh yeah, that part. And I've had this dream before. About it's really, 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 really nice. It's weird. I mean, I've been, it's, and it's that part. Because I told you, I very rarely dream anymore. I sleep, but I very rarely dream. Because people be entering my dreams, my dream state. Like, they have found a way. And that is against the Akashic Records. That is, you cannot tap into people's Akashic Records like that. You cannot, that is, that is, that is spiritually off limits. To tap into people's dreams the way some of you have had. That's why I say these so-called masters of illumination, the Illuminati, you think you can get away with everything because you've gotten away with everything for so long until you ran up against me. Hi, I'm your demon time. <laughs> Anyway, so I, just, I don't know why it's always sad. It's always, it's always these dreams come around, around 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. I don't know. It's like I get past that 2 or 3 because I went to bed at 1, 12, really 10, really 11 on the couch and woke up, you know. I've been, I've been like sleeping on the couch, fall on the couch and then wake up like, oh, I need to go to bed and then nap out and then go out and finally get, finally get in the bed about one or something like that and i get past that two or three o'clock in the morning where either the inspiration comes or the demon time come and you know it's, it, it's funny how people people never seem to go to sleep until i go to sleep what you watching I know I make people really. Why do I make you? Here's the deal. Why do I make you nervous? If you are if you are really repping, truly and the highest of vibes and integrity, then you should not fear me. I mean, I have nothing to be afraid of, unless <laughs> I'm nothing to be afraid. Of. Good people don't fear me. Babies don't fear me. Animals don't fear me unless they get out of pocket. The earth doesn't fear me. The earth, who would the earth fear? That part. Man, you're not better than the earth. You're not better than Mother Nature. And again, why don't you have real discussions about that today? Why don't you have real discussions uh, as you do in your sermon? Why would you, number one, continually talk about King James Version when you know there were at least 33 books taken out of the Bible. You know that for a fact. Why would you be so concerned about Jesus and not concerned about his mother? Why would you not want to know a little bit more about, oh, you think the, the Mary that was a hoe, that, you know, the spirit came down and she got pregnant, da, 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 da. And then, you know, so this African woman gave birth to a white man. That's the narrative again. That's where we're going with this. Prager you. How could these people be passing through all these areas where the people were dark in your books? Feet like burnished bronze brass. 
Bitch, do you know what the word bras is? You're in a university of some sort. What's the university of fuckery? Okay, like, let's go. Let's go, Breaker You. I told you. Tech Talk too. I'm not Lizzo. I'm not JC. Y'all don't want to do the real thing. You don't want to bring somebody with an intellect that's higher than you because that's what you do. Notice all races do that. They try to go to the lowest common denominator and when they can't like break it down, then they become the biggest haters or race baiters. You can't do neither of that. You're not going to get us into an election year and have us all mad at each other, not looking at what you're doing, which is why I love my military family. I support my military family and I will be the first to say to my military family and for my military military family, the government is fucking you in every way. Veterans still can't get their benefits, okay? Veterans who need to get their benefits. You got your 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 department of, you know what? I'm going to get that later. Like I said, I'm going to personally visit. And wait a minute. Did I see the social administration or whatever the Veterans Affairs on post closed down? I'm not going to trust any of these clowns in Fayetteville. Fayetteville is fucked. Fayetteville is hell central. Even the people on Fort Bragg don't even want to go to Fayetteville anything unless they got to do something. So no, you're not gonna you're not gonna direct me to go to Fayetteville to talk to any of these witches and warlocks. I, well, you know Val, no, because I think that whole got you under a spell. And let me tell you something: if you really think you know me as much as you do, you should know for a fact that I would legally, effectively come after all of you. You got to know your dark side. I told you. I'm not going to I'll go to hell before I go to jail. <laughs> but trust me, I'll take out all of you. No, we're not doing that. You're not going to play me for my money because some hoe tried to play you for your dough, trying to blackmail you too, so you got to give her a platform or him a platform to do what they do. All these little preachers with their little covers like, we're going to do this voodoo on her. No, the voodoo's going to be on you. For the From the very beginning of time, I told the truth. From the very beginning of time, I was here for the youth while y'all were fucking the youth. Literally. Your teachers, your preachers, your so-called pillars of the community. Oh, it's the stuff that you do and the stuff people don't see. But you know I know you and you want to come for me? Ha! 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 But look at me. I don't have an entourage. Look at me. I don't have the big security team and yet I have the best security team in the world. Ask yourself in reality. A real empire who has real intelligent forces who would they support more, a whore or me? Watch how you talk about my mama. Watch how you talk about my daddy. And watch how you talk about me. What would Jesus or John the Baptist do? Me. What would Kalima do? Me. What would Kwan Yin do? Me. What would segment do? You see me drinking pomegranate juice. I don't drink wine no more. And it's a holy week. So, me. Fire. Truth. The holy sword of justice. Cuts in every way it needs to. Who wants to stand up to the truth today? You better come with the truth because Ma'a is looking okay. Isis is looking okay. All the ancient gods are here, by the way. That hoe ain't the hoe representing Hathor, okay? Y'all need to sit down. All the Yoruba got, oh, shoot. Yimaya. It's Yimaya for somebody who said that name wrong so 50,000 times. You've been not even close. But, you know, it's closer to say, I might even be saying it, but I, I'm saying it better than you. Yimaya or Yimaya. Oshun. Oya. That's all in my family tree. So who must I be? Just a truth teller. Just a messenger. Just being me in 2023. But that seems to be too much for some of you. But you have all your wealth and everything. You have the platform too. Yes, you do. But guess what? I got the military's eyes on me, do you? I think you do by now. Because they're seeing, because mm, they've been feeling a long time. They knew that something wasn't right about these shots. They know, how to, they know how their own government can set them up. They have been saying this, saying this, saying this, saying this. I'm sick and damn tired of celebrities, of actors, of little people around here. I'm calling you what you are because the thing about it is you don't go to the people who you stole the story from. All of a sudden, now every, every little child, every little, every little entrepreneur, every little person, they got their little uh, PPP. P long 
you know, when she got 50,000, you got 50,000 people work. I mean, I played by the rules and you going to come after me. I've seen you give drug dealers grants, not alone. I've seen you get, give whores who say, I got this business. I got this business. I got this business. You ain't got none of that. You ain't got none of that. You have no proof on none of that. But you're okay with that and you're mad at me. When I show you legitimately who I be. When I show you legitimately. We can go back to 2007 when I started Soul School Cafe. We can go back to when I was at uh, Magic, okay? When I was doing I Am Val Jones and started that. My website was hacked about a year or so ago by some Asian num Asian care. I haven't even, I just left it alone. I'm going to get it back because I still have the domain name, right? So it just sits there for right now until I'm ready to do what I need to do. And and that more so will be in 2024. Or I might just let it go. I don't know. I'm doing something new. It just depends on where it just depends on wherever it go. Either way, I can make my own platform. This is it. Because even if nobody sees it, I see this. I told you, I'm not leaving a crumb. I'm leaving the whole, I'm the bread factory, bitch. <laughs> I'm not leaving even, even loaves today. I am the bread factory, okay? I make my own bread the right way. Somebody had to come in and tell the truth today because all your politicians are lying. I said all of them. Shout out to the few, very few, who dare to tell the truth. But we know once you get into this mess called politics, they come after you. So it's hard. You're hard to really stand on your own, especially when you find yourself standing alone a bunch of whole bunch of mess. So how can I be doing this as you say, by myself? So like, how does she do how can we not kill her? Maybe you weren't supposed to. Maybe the youth needed to see somebody that they could relate to that would tell the truth to let them know you don't have to dance like a whore. You don't have to. And, and don't get me wrong about dancing because this is what an evangelical dancing is wrong. These angelical, these an, 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 angelical, these overly and they're like, you remember the, the movie The Hills Had Eyes? You remember Carrie's mom? <laughs> I know some people like that now. All the I know. I mean, I, I man, I was working in at, at, at Dairy Print and Raleigh, and uh, and the most Christian people there. You know, this 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 nigga. You know, try to hem me up in the, in the dark room. I'm doing photography. You know, and try <laughs> trying to roll up a butt. But he's up here preaching to everybody. His wife was so Geraldine. His wife was so sweet and so nice and didn't have. And it's like he tried to brow beat her down with just you know she just being regularly friendly when he's hoeing around. You know what? And even the you know what? I mean, you know what? Everybody. I mean, you know everybody. I mean, you know what? The owner was a hoe. The secretary was a hoe. I mean, the the wife. I I was literally friends with the wife and the wife's daughter, yo. And I'm like looking at this stuff like, <sighs> I will say the memory. Well, that's a whole other thing. Where uh, he knows what he was, the uh, uh, the guy that rode, uh, the white guy that was in a motorcycle gang. See, I told you, I I don't judge. I just feel either I feel love or I don't. And we clicked. I didn't feel like he was racist or anything, but I heard later on that you know that club like they killed. People. I don't know what they do. I don't know. I'm I'm not there. But anyway, I will say this: that was the first time I never did that again. That was the first time I ever smoked a joint on uh on uh and I was cutting I was cutting books too. That was the first time I ever smoked a joint at lunchtime and it was laced with something. Oh my God! You know what? Salute to my body. How I didn't like that was no oh God that would no I don't see how y'all do it I can't do it I mean I was cutting all these I was just like I was just praying like God if you just get me out of here the music was getting louder everything was like really weird y'all like that all the time I don't like that feeling I don't like that I don't like that is not a cool feeling for me. It's not that I am, it's not that I am a, a control freak. Some would say, well, because now you can control freak. No, maybe, bitch, maybe you need to control your own emotions. Maybe you need to control your sex addictions. Maybe you need to control your ability to always want to get into somebody's life and be such a goddamn busybody when you ain't right. That went out to several people. Maybe you need to mind your business instead of minding mine. Prager you, how are you? You fine? <laughs> Little ratchet ass hoe with the low back. <laughs> 
okay, okay, I know you got the demon in you, but I'm not your exorcist, boo. I'm going to let life handle you. I'm telling you, you will never be anybody high vibe of worth anything. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it, bitch. Be about it. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong in reality. Let's see some high Let's see some high-vibing people around in your vicinity. They ain't going to come around you. Like these people who think I'm going to come back around them or let them come around me. No. If you're not high vibe, then that means you mean me harm. And if you mean me harm, I am signing the alarm. I will take all of you motherfuckers' asses out. I ain't capping. You are. that's it it's not but I, I think I've said enough as much as you can handle for today I guess it should be obvious baby girl don't play baby girl don't need no dirty money and no tainted dick and no tainted bitch mess with me and you'll end your life real quick but you know I don't have to do anything because daddy, dad, daddy came in and went oh yeah the vision that was it the vision so uh which makes me which is which is again showing that it's closing out the retrograde because I do believe it was this time too it's weird how things are literally coming back and I remember it almost exact it's like deja vu it really is like de it is like deja vu we have been here before so I'm in this dream and I'm walking up into this house that I have talked about about to the owner and there's several people that this can, can relate to because it's a nice beautiful big house but they can never sell it for whatever reason they can never sell it or rent it out and, and you wonder why and so, and I'm up here, and that's why it's like, you know, the reality, because in reality, I would never do that, because I still have my hair bonded on. And I'm like, oh, never go up to a house like this in a neighborhood, you know, with my hair bonded. So, it should occur to me, but it was, but I had to go through a panic mode, too, first, and I, I'll let you know. Anyway, I'm going up. Something said, go to this house. And I've been to this house at least two or three times. I told you, this is like my third Saturn return. So, and I'm parking the car on the side, which I'm thinking is in the parking lot. And see, this could have been in Atlanta or Columbia. It could have been right here. It's, in, it's anywhere USA. That's what I want to, to say, too. Shout out to the boot girls in Atlanta. Y'all get them. Get, go, boot girls, go. Go, boot girls, go. Go, if you know, you know. Go, boot girls, go. Because I'm telling you, Atlanta be on some shit. Atlanta be on some shit. I don't know anyone who has a real car who has not had a real car. I don't know anyone who's gone to Atlanta and not had their car towed or booted at least once. Think you're parking somewhere you supposed even Columbia, South Carolina does that too, see. Shit. Wish hubby was around right now. Ask, ask we could get we got stories. We got stories like what? What? Talking about traumatized to have your car to have your car booted or towed when you think you're parking in the right spot. They do that's it's just like the car insurance thing, the road insurance thing in North Carolina is just a scam. It's all a scam. It's all a scam. You paying all this insurance and stuff like that and the sure it's supposed to be going to the roads and fixing the roads. Roads don't get fixed. Roads don't get fixed. The only reason why they started doing a little bit of stuff on the roads was because they had to like they they had to um they had to uh, show what they were doing for the money. And I do believe that was actually in Trump's regime, that they had to show, what are you doing with the money about the roads, North Carolina? And then all of a sudden, they started fixing the roads. But however, this is what they do. And this is what I'm saying. Some of you think it's you and it's not you. Notice how the roads got slicker because they started using cheap asphalt. Everything got cheapened down. Everything got cheapened down. They started using cheap asphalt. You can't see the lines at night anymore, right? You think you're going blind, so you need to go and get glasses. See how, see how all it falls in line? Money. For big pharma, because big pharma, optics, all anything having to do with medicine and eye care, doctor care, any type of care, that's still big pharma. Okay, so beware, which is what I'm going to, I am going to make that t-shirt, thank you. Be kind, be nice, be fair, or beware. Be kind, be nice, be fair, or beware. Be kind, be nice, be fair, or beware. We're going to be fair, okay? So, or beware. So, they made... 
the lines, they use cheap paint. They used to use fluorescent paint that you could easily see, but now you can't see shit. You can't see, and especially when it rains, so the roads are slicker when it rains, which means more accidents, which means more insurance company, because more accidents, more insurance. If you don't have more insurance, then you're going to jail. See how the system works for itself? So, and again, like with the roads, like I said, they started using cheap asphalt. They started using cheap paint. Check into it. Research it. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. I done put it out there. Do the work, but you bitches don't want to work. You want somebody else to do the work, and then you take all the benefits, and then you come in and do a little TikTok video. You know, this, that, and this, and that. I already did the research, so why are you paying these hoes money when you should be paying me when I'm telling you this in reality? You see why I have a problem with this bullshit fakery? Because the real people who should be getting paid for this don't. And the fake ones too. Just like your preachers on Sunday morning. I'm not talking about all the preachers. Shot to the one, the very, very few who at least are trying to grow their company. And maybe you're learning too. Because reminding you, you're always in a state of learning. If you're not in a state of learning, then you're already dead. You have nothing to say to me. You're already dead. Your mind is closed. Why would God talk to you? You are God. And that's where you go wrong. I know I am God. Okay. <laughs> and Mother Nature says, okay. Do you? When the shit hits the fan, call on you. Notice when the shit hits the fan. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Call on you. Call on you. And the people who told the truth, the real representatives, you slay them, reminding you, radio industry, record industry. And I said that, I had that conversation last night in my head, but not necessarily in my head, because I know those who heard it, heard it. You already slayed me. You already said you done, you done every, you took everything I was working on, everybody I helped, just to try to degrade me, because I didn't want to be initiated into your bullshit industry doing the shit that you do. I've had this the whole time I've been in the industry. You come after me because I'm not like you. You want to make me, and maybe this is biblical too. You want to make you are bound and determined to make Mary the hope. You about to see that black Sicilian lady. You don't know what Mary can't. You the the other Mary, the mother Mary, and then there's the other Mary. I represent both of them. They chose wisely. Yeah. Who said do I need to take off today? Every single liar. Uh uh, who do you desire today? Clearly not the truth. So stay with that hoe. Y'all slayed me already, yo. So why you mad? Why are you trying why are you trying to bring all these songs and everything about I I don't give a shit about none of that no more. Nah, do you? Like I said, even JC is trying to like they're laundering money in that house. That house is still coming out. Oprah and and, and, and the rock up here like is talking about we need to give a to bitch. Nobody ain't giving you no donations anymore. And that's so sad because you had I had like the just the highest respect for Oprah until I realized, oh my God, you are one of those. Damn, 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 damn. If that's what fame makes you do, then I want none of that, and I don't want none of you. I don't give a damn if I even die. I don't, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not checking for any of you. My, dr I just want to. I don't want to meet none of them. Honestly, I don't want to meet none of them. I am fine with my crew. And let me say this, because I know some people do this. Every time I get with some people I like, you start to gang stalk them, right? Let me tell you this personally. Personally. You touch a hair or any of my tribe's head or their children, you are instantly dead. I protect myself and my tribe. I protect myself and my tribe. I protect myself and my tribe. You harm them just because they show me real love and you're jealous and you want to like make me submit to you. 
So you're going to bring them harm like you did these fools in the industry. You can keep all these hoes. You can keep all these bros. You can keep all these chicks. You can keep all these tricks. You can keep all your lyrics. You can keep all your shit. I'm getting ready to take all my music off except for the ones I know that was just me. I don't know anybody and I don't owe anybody nothing. But this on this day, no. And I'm calling on all the powers that be to help me as I grow and glow. You touch one hair on my ranger's head. <laughs> That's your damn tree. The whole tree. The whole line. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with my family. Maleficent is real. So, somebody need to hear that. In case somebody decide, well, we gonna, I think you need to fall back. I think you're already suffering. Look at you. I think you're already seeing what you hate to see. Like, she could be telling the truth. Could be. Could be. Could be. Prager you. You want to come for me today? No, I think you're going to bypass. But you better watch your bots and your sense and your stance that you send for me. Because it goes right back to you. And see, right now, I'm in the mood to slay everybody with a proper attitude. Because I've been hanging out with people who love me. When you get real love and real hugs and you around people who like, oh, y'all respect the truth too. Who sees her as home. Now, you want to turn around and after I've done, let everything go away. And I make my own Garden of Eden, okay? And you want to come and salt it up with your bullshit? I will personally fuck you up myself. Because I am still that bitch. <laughs> a little dark, a little light, whatever it be, okay? I told you, even the devil can go, God damn! What is she? And I think I'll love her. No. Fall back. We don't do that. Mm-mm. 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 Sunshade, saute your ass somewhere else. And what y'all gonna be doing? You think you're gonna be... I mean, let me tell you something. The greatest sunshade, saute, whatever. Like, like, S Sylvester. Y'all didn't support Sylvester. I was... I supported Sylvester. See, some of you don't even know who Sylvester is. And that, but, but, but you, but you, you, you LGBTQ, you, you LGBTQ goats and you don't even know who Sylvester is. I mean, like, y'all are so, y'all are so full of shit. You didn't even support Willie Ware, Willie Smith. Y'all are so full of shit. That's why I said, I mean, damn, if the LGBTQ narrative, the Simpson stands come for me, bitch, I'll slay everybody. Sante Chache, your ass right out my way, okay? I get my troop around and they will boom stop your ass to the ground. You better not, you don't want to mess with me. I will, I will. I will read all of you and more just, for, just, just, just for fun. <laughs> just for fun. Just for therapy. I do this so naturally, so easily. I know they should be scared. You don't want to make them scared, Val. Well, see, here's the deal. If you don't make them scared of you, then they feel like they can roll up on you. How do you feel like it now? You feel like you can just roll up on me now? Which gets back to my crew. You know what? What happens when the military turns ratchet like you? What happens when the military gets tired of the bullshit? That's how revolutions start. When you have enough people with the right mentality and the right physicality and all the allergies and the allergies and they're like, you know what? They go Thomas Paine on you. Common sense. Everybody doesn't have common sense and no, Bruce, genius is not common. Clearly. Look at. So you might want to change up your narrative. Common sense is clearly not common. How about, like I said, you can't tell Virgos nothing until they, you know, till they hit the ground enough times and does it hurt yet? Does it hurt yet? Oh, the woman is showing you up. Can we get like the woman part out of it? Like men, you're not as bright as you think you are. Or you wouldn't be so confused. You think dick rules everything. It doesn't. I heard someone say, well, Val, if it was no dick, that wasn't you. You think my father, my father was, was a dick? Bitch, you don't know my dad. You're not my dad. You'll never be my dad. You can't even come close to my dad's pinky toe. And your whole ass mama is still going to be a whole ass hoe. Living or dead. Oh, wow. Jeez. That was... <sighs> my condolences. I should have been a little softer on that. But remember, you were the first one.
the clap. Truth hurts, doesn't it? Lies hurt, too. That lie you told yourself, it's never come true. Truth has given you warning time and time again. You chose your end, my friend. You chose that. You can't blame it on nobody else. Your ego got out of control. Your greed got out of control. I told you, jealousy is the first sin. Prager you. Are you still a bunch of white people who are jealous about black people because you don't even know who you are? We're not doing that in this new... Are, are you paid by who? Are, who are, are you paid by Trump or Biden? Or who? Maybe you're paid by something. Whoever is paying you all to have people fight up against each other so you can take this country right out from under everybody. You know what? Go ahead. Fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead and let World War Three happen. Go ahead and let... You know, whatever this is going on in the seas, because climate is cl clearly changing. Climate is clearly, there's no such thing as climate change, then bitch, where you live. There's climate change everywhere. All you got to do is go outside. Oh, but remember, somebody told you not to go outside, because if you go outside, you could die. But if you stay inside and, and breathe the same old stinky smell, smell your ass, smell your breath, smell the mask. You're just smelling. Some of you all don't even wash it. You don't even brush your teeth or wash your feet or wash your ass. You don't wash nothing. And you eat ass. Your ghosts eat ass. I mean, your ghosts literally eat ass. Ass is where you shit. So you eat that and you make a trend out of it. And kids are supposed to think that's cool. Sukiyana on all fours like a like a bitch. That's cool. Some of you who had mothers, some of you who have children, you think that's cool. Where are you? I told you, you all need to really, 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 really read the really, really symptoms of syphilis and what syphilis does. Some of y'all look like y'all are full of syphilis. You really do. That's some syphilis will make you insane. Yup. I forgot you can't read. <laughs> it's that part. Google it then or get somebody to read it to There should be a video somewhere about syphilis symptoms on YouTube. YouTube has any everything else. And I keep telling you today, if you want to watch a good kid with their children today, parents, watch the movie Momo with John Houston. Watch the movie. Parents, my people, my tribe, watch the movie Momo with John Houston. It's a Belgian film, but it has English subtitles. And it's about a little uh, brownish girl who comes to a city in France or Belgium or whatever. And she just kind of like falls from the sky. And she appears to be homeless and she lives in a cave and all this and all that. But she has these wonderful magical powers. And she just cares for everybody. And she just goes up to like, who hurt you? And she asks why all the time, like I do. Like, you know, some say don't ask. But, you know, I ask anyway. Why? Why do you do that? Why do you feel like that? Why do you think that? Why is it wrong to ask why? Anybody who tells you it's wrong to ask questions, right off the bat, they're about to tell you a lie. Because if you were really secure in yourself, you wouldn't be afraid of the question. Truth is never afraid of a question. I'm never afraid. If anybody asks me a question, I'll tell you. And I'll tell you if I don't know it. That's what my parents did. They would tell me what they know, and they'd tell me, and they'd tell me if they didn't know. They would tell me the research, or even they didn't... They, even they if even if they didn't tell me everything they knew that there are only some things that life can teach you so no parent no class no school can teach you everything you have to do the work yourself there's something only actual experience can teach you so if you keep studying these books and these books were already lies made by liars to suppress you and control you Which gets back to the dream. So I had this dream over and over and over again because now I've got a headache. I'm not saying this to you anymore. This is the last time I'm going to have it. I mean, really, I, I'm, I'm really got to be focused on something else because I got to open that door and I can't go. This is like going back to Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm not going to have these conversations. I shouldn't even be having these conversations more. I'm already elevated over that. So this is for like maybe one person that could have been left back that maybe today you'll activate and you say, oh, damn, she's right. And maybe you'll find a way to help yourself. So this is for that one person. I told you. Even when it was Jehovah Witnesses or whoever come to my door, there's always one I'm guaranteed to turn. So if you got some little gay boy, some little gay woman, and she just don't know what she's about to be, there's only there's one there's one person that's listening to me that's going like, damn, 
I get her. That's the person I'm for. I'm not for everybody. I'm not for the masses. I'm for the ones who are questioning themselves and they know in this lie they don't feel right. And so they're trying to find who they are. And I'm telling you, you're okay, all right. As long as you're questioning, this doesn't feel right. It's because it doesn't. Don't let them say, well, you just got to keep going through it. You just got to pay. You just got to pay and know you can be blessed. You got to pay and know. You're paying the very people that are suppressing you. You're paying and you're paying attention to the very people that are suppressing you. That's why they're so desperate and they come for you. And trust me, I get it. Everybody can't be me. I, don't be me. Don't go up against. Everybody should not go, go up against a narcissist like I do. Everybody's not me. I'm telling you, if you do what I do, you could end up horribly. I don't know. I had to go my role because this is my role. This is this is what I was born to do, exactly what I'm doing right now. So if I have to slay and bring the whole goddamn industry down and a whole family of clout chasing whores down, I'm good. I'm I'm made for that. I'm military stock in real life. I'm not I'm not a homemade. I'm not a I'm not I'm a, not a homemade woman. I'm not a bitch made woman. What the fuck you talk about? I had a real father and a real dad that loved me and real grandparents too. That taught me. And I see in reality why I don't have that land now. Because that land is like Sodom and Gomorrah. It's tainted. There's going to be some hurricanes and some floods that's come through. There's already been some major floods that's come through. It's going to come through again. Where did the money go? Y'all supposed to be fixing some stuff, but you didn't though. And so now you want to take all the money from the military. Because you done ran through everybody else. No. No. You really messing with these fats. And you think these vets won't figure it out in a minute and check you all? You think you you gonna hit the you gonna hit the you gonna hit the wrong kill switch on the on the wrong people? <laughs> y'all stupid. And that's how America fall. That's gonna be some of the greatest history ever. You're living in historical times right now, boys and girls. It's interesting. I just want to uh, for all my boys and girls and my tribe. I just want us to have. As much happiness as we can in our life. Because shit's getting ready to get really, really deep, apparently. Unless more people wake up and not be so asleep. I'm not talking to the sheep or the sheep. I'm talking to my tribe. There's very few of us. But that's okay. It's supposed to be. But so about this vision, this dream, this house, and this house. And so, you know, I go up to this house, and uh, and the guy's, like, being nice and everything, man. Like, oh, let me take this hair body down. Right off the bat, I should realize, okay, girl, you know you're dreaming, because you would never do that in a million years. You're not like that. That's ratchet. And get, I don't I do not do that. I, we, number one, I would not go up to anybody's house in any community looking like, no. But y'all do, in reality. So, like, no, we're not tribe, okay? I mean, there's just certain things. I don't know how you think you're a high, I, like, do you? Screw you. That's your life. That's your life. That's your life. That's your life. What high vibe man you have in your life? Who's paying your bills? How you doing? <laughs> That's some low vibe and shit. You need to get an exorcist shit. But or do you or just or just somebody's done fuck the brains out of you. Either. I I suck that down. I fuck no, they fucked you. You waiting for that money to come through? It's not gonna do it. What happens when they really stuff starts really getting real for them? Oh, they're going to leave you. You can suck and fuck till the cows come home. You know, there are a lot of people who are in the grave from sucking and fucking. A lot. AIDS is a horrible thing. STDs too. Ignorance is even worse. So anyway, so about this dream. So I'm coming up and this guy is showing. And it's a beautiful house. And I'm like, I've been here before. And he was like, do you want it? I mean, like, it's only like, I think you said like, it's only like uh, uh, $11.35 a month. I'm like, I'm only asking for $11.35 a month. And he was showing me the view. And it was beautiful. And like, it, it seemed like Atlanta, but it could have been New York too. And the view was awesome. And it had like two awesome views. Like you look at one side, it was an awesome view. And you look at another side, it was an awesome view. And I'm like, my God, that's gorgeous. I has a fair price, right? But people don't want to even pay that. People want, I'm like, my God, people are paying like a two thousand dollars just to live in a box in New York. Think we're living large? No, you are living in a rat infested box. But this man is charged like eleven thirty five for this beautiful, beautiful seems like you want it. And I'm like, oh, well, let me think about it because I know that was a little bit out of my budget. But I'm thinking, God, that's a plan. And so then I go out to look for my car, and my car is gone. And I'm looking everywhere for my car. It's gone, gone. Gone, gone, gone. I'm just searching, searching, searching. So I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. What happened to my car? Did my car get towed? Which brings me back to the boot girls in Atlanta. 
Atlanta be making a show about uh, uh that it is true they use that shit as a scam they will tow you or boot you they are Atlanta is criminal I mean let, did you not forget did you not do you real do you remember was it less than 10 years do you remember when the police chief who lost killed the police chief who won because he couldn't stand to be going out. He couldn't stand to be the police chief going out. And he was the police chief. He was the police chief and he murdered the incoming police chief because he couldn't, he didn't want to lose. Atlanta be doing some shit. Don't talk to me about freak dick. Don't talk to me about your mayor. Your mayor from North Carolina. I was from North Carolina and I'm right there. Mayor Campbell, I'm, I'm out there on the Senate floor saying, no, no, no. Talking about free nigga looking at the SCLC and the NAACP. And I remember the sister who was running for mayor who you really should have elected, but you didn't. And she was like, let her speak. I'm up here telling the truth. And y'all want to and y'all want to shut me down. Atlanta be on some shit. That is not the land of milk and honey. Atlanta be on some shit. But you know what? Go there and find out. Everybody, everybody eventually wants to go to the. Atlanta's got some good stuff going on, but Atlanta about some shit. If you're not ready for that shit and to live downtown, no, my people don't live down there. My, none of my family lives in, in because it's too much energy. You don't want all that. In, you don't want all that energy. Which brings me back to remember Criss Cross. Remember how I told you like how are you gonna have a listing party at the Purple Penis or what is the club? Excuse me, Club Velvet. Still same thing. Purple Penis. How are you gonna have a listing party? Radio industry for Criss Cross and kids who are like thirteen and fourteen and fifteen years old at a club where everybody is such. Every every woman is a man. Every man is a woman. Everybody says, and you have exotic dancers strapped up, exotic male dancers looking like women. How was that a listening meet and greet party for people? I would I said one time before, if it was just radio folks, I still didn't get it, but I kind of got it. But you had kids there, and you know all the clubs, all the places to go in Atlanta, but you picked that. That's how the industry that's how the industry tricks out these young men and women. I haven't heard you talk about Chris Cross yet in your 50 years of hip hop. You talk about, well, what? Because Jermaine Dupree wrote their was it Jermaine Dupree or was it Mike Malden? Jermaine's dad. Jermaine had that cigar up, so he did that thing. He was doing that thing, too, with the cigar, right? That's what they do, J.C. and, and, and P.D. They all got that cigar. Will Smith, they all got that cigar. Like, what's that? What's that cigar? And I, and I will admit, my dad smoked cigars, but he, like, stopped smoking cigars. My uncle smoked, but they stopped. They, you know, they, you know, but what does a cigar signal? See, and that's not to say, that's not, that's not, that's not to say for everybody to smoke cigars. That's, that's not a knock on you. Because cigars do symbol a type of status. But in the industry, in the industry, it signifies another status. See, there's a light and dark side to everything. And that's why they hate me. Because I'm able to see both sides. Because I'm that nice little shiny part in the middle. Like, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. What happened to Chris Kelly? How did he get alopecia? How did he get so hooked on drugs? What did you all do to him? Who tricked him out? How did you trick him out? Did you start that from the very beginning? These people were the first. They set the bar for people, for young people, young people to be in hip hop. They set the bar. I want my tribe to know. I want my military brats and all my, and all my tribe, you know, and, and, and the good kids to know. Good kids set the bar for hip hop with Chris Cross. It was cool, it was trendy, but the industry tricked and turned them out. These were the only two who literally and D, ask DJ Nabs. DJ Nabs can tell you the history. Shout out to DJ Nabs and, and Raleigh. I told you we both got stories. We both worked at the same places. We've both seen the hate. Y'all not gonna listen to me, okay? But maybe you listen to Nabs. But we both seen the hate. The only people, the only rapper who who has performed with uh with Michael Jackson. Who, who who are these people? All of them. All of them. Like I'm. This song is gonna be better than Michael Jackson. I'm doing Michael Jackson. You never did Michael Jackson. You never will. That is over. But Chris Cross did. Chris Smith did. Why haven't you invited him? But he probably wouldn't want to. Go. I, I don't mind. I don't blame you, honey. I wouldn't either. I'm like you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go to none of that shit. 
I don't give a damn about none of that shit. If you ever want to, uh, well, never mind, nothing, but you know. You know me. I hang t nice places for me. Therapy. And I do mean what I say. If anybody is so jealous today that you feel the need that you want to stop me when I'm doing something good for the world. And you want to stop me because you're a jealous ass bitch. Okay, let me say again. I'm not Cardi B and I'm not Offset. I ain't capping. And you don't see me having a whole bunch of uh, bodyguards either, do you? She walks like she's got the balls of an Anunnaki. She walks like she's got the balls of a god. She walks like she's got the balls of some crazy military fighting machine who reps for the right team, if you know what I mean. Anybody can suck a nut or give a fuck. But very, 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 very few people can be me. So if you are really about trying to get to your chosen destiny, a higher destiny, a higher vibration, who are you going to choose? Them or me? It's really elementary. Except some of you haven't even gotten out of uh, preschool yet. Hmm. And that's why they won't they they don't want me to come in and talk. That's cool. So I'll do this. That's all I had to say though. But yeah, but the dream. So yeah, so shout because Atlanta be Atlanta be on that shit with them. So go boot girls, go boot girls, go boot girls, go boot girls, go, go boot girls, go, go boot girls, go. Go boogers, go. Go boogers, yes, cause y'all be y'all be jacking people for their cards. Y'all be jacking. You jack me and Baker up like twice in Atlanta. I had to, I'm having I'm having to call up I'm I'm having to call up my best and like what happened? She's a she's a she's a share that she's and she's taking me through oh yeah this time da 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 cause that happens yeah cause that happens y'all be on some shit Atlanta y'all be on some shit. Y'all be on some shit. Now, all these little wannabe country-ass bumpkin towns on some shit. Fayetteville been on some shit. Always want to be a big city. You just a little small town. The main people you hate. We hate. We love the military. No, you don't. You love military money. You are so fake. Y'all are so fake and fuck. Columbia, South Carolina, you too. Y'all be doing that shit too. Columbia's all that. Y'all be doing. You still in the South. You know what? It was in, it was in South Carolina. It was in South Carolina where I said I was from North Carolina and they called me a Yankee. Because I'm coming from North Carolina, I'm a Yankee. Last time I checked, North Carolina was still on the southern side of the Mason-Dixon line, but that's a mentality in North Carolina and South. That's the mentality when you keep going down south. Like, okay. And military brats, we're from everywhere. It's hard when you ask a military brat, where, where, where are you from? Well, that depends on the day. <laughs> Where are we from today? Where are we? I don't know. We're from everywhere. We're from everywhere and nowhere. But we are everywhere. And so that's all I had to say. You know, shout out to my troop again. Shout out to my, shout out to the 82nd Airborne. I will be watching, you know, was it Tuesday? When are you on Americans? When is the 19th? Tuesday. So I watch America. I mean, I normally don't watch that show at all. But uh, since they're on there, I'm going to be watching this Tuesday. Watch and vote for uh, uh, the 82nd Airborne in America. Watch and vote for the 82nd Airborne and the choir on America's Got Talent. That's what I want to say. That's what we need to do. I wish they would take for like two years. I wish they would take all the award shows away. Just take them all away. And then we actually voted for the people who we actually like. Voted for the albums who we actually like. You guys like take the platform. You have these platforms. You do so many things. You do so much trash shit with them. Play your music. Do your music. But I'm not going to play shit. Now, I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to help you at all. Y'all done dropped the ball on that. Y'all done lost me. So I'm not doing shit. I don't promote nobody for free. However, I think if people had a choice, if real listeners had a choice to pick who they like, like this person is good and this person is good, most of your people on your charts would have never won an award. Most of your people on the charts wouldn't even be up the charts. All the people who suck and fuck their way up to the top and play the industry game, then you know they then they would be put to shame because then they then the population would speak. We don't like none of these people. 
This is who we like. It's kind of like elections, right? It's like your presidency too. We need better. Uh, we need better. We need better. We need. Uh, we our voting system is screwed. This ain't it. Whatever it is, this ain't it. The populace doesn't have a vote. You forced to vote. You hedged the bets. And right off the bat, you want to paint people. Are you Republican or are you Democrat? I'm neither. Why do I have to be one or the other? Well, because because who? Who said I have to be Republican or Democrat? Why come I can't just vote for whoever I want to damn well vote for? Whatever that person is. Why come I can't vote for who I like? Who I follow? Why don't you vet your people? I don't support the Democratic Party. I don't support the Republican Party. I don't support every liberal. And some people might look at me and, call, and consider me a conservative. I do believe in morals and values. I'm not overly concerned. I'm not fanatical about nothing. I look at both sides. But when you lie, bitch, I'll be all up in your ass because I'm like that. Somebody's got to be. There's got to be a real spiritual popo. It seems like it. It must be me. There's got to be a real justice mode. Okay? It's not the Justin Bieber justice tool with all that lying bullshit and Haley Bieber and all that shit to you mean girl tricks. Bitches, y'all be the back the fuck down off of me because I'm not dealing with these mean girls today. You think you got a little money. You think you got a little clout. You little nepo babies. You do like a little mean. You love doing that mean shit. I'll break a bitch today. Don't come at me, okay? Because now I'm got PTSD. Now I have therapy. Now I need therapy. I have therapy and I am therapy. I'm all of that. See, so I know how to help me. I'm lifting real people up because you motherfuckers are such... Bitch, I'll fuck you up. She, she, he, the, them know exactly who I'm talking to. Is it you? Whew. That had to come out. Had to. So, anyway. Why thing? Da, 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 da. You make my heart sing. Da, 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 da. You make everything groovy. Why wow, that would be cool if y'all start out with that and then go into something else. But don't do you do you don't don't change it. But that would be cool. That would be like, oh wow, awesome, 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 awesome. I know it's already been done, I think per se, but we'll see. And you know me, we'll have, we'll we'll have therapy in my favorite place uh, Wednesday because I got to go by the veterans. I'm not going. To, I'm not going to anybody in North. I'm not going to anybody in Fayetteville. I'm not going to the Veterans Administration. I think all of y'all are sus. I don't trust none of y'all. I'll just go straight to the. I will go straight to the main office. I, you know me. I go straight to the mailman. Like I said, ask Baker. And Baker were here. He could not believe this. This little. This this little. You know, because it happens in the military too. This little crockety ass, crockety ass cracker gonna mess with my husband and everything. Because my husband was doing what he's supposed to do as far as being a chef in the military, and because he was feeling a little bit somewhere about himself. I've had people that did like that to me too. I've had somebody that. Uh, I've had I've worked with employees like that too that felt inferior because you're you because you're better and because you're a darky. It's not what they're used to. They're used to all these hillbilly hicks. They ain't shit. And then all, all of a sudden they come in. They think they got a little rank. So they can just, you know, pull this little hillbilly trick. Bitch, you know, you better back the fuck off. You better take those nooses and put them down before I take those nooses. Hang them around your... See, I will hang you both ways. I will hang you around your neck and your dick, okay? Split you open like you did the slaves back in the day. That's what I see when I see you. Don't come for me because I'll screw all of you in the best way possible. Ooh, you don't want to see my dark side because I guarantee you my dark side is darker than yours. Mm. I must have God in me because I'd kill all these whores. Easily. I love, by the way, shout out to Mike Hurley, 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 who, whatever, on TikTok. Because me and Dave, I love that. I love that. I love it. I love the comedy, but I love that. I'd be Dave. Dave is every engineer I've ever known. If you go on, if you go on TikTok and you see Mike Hurley here or whatever, then you say, that's it. But you, so now I'm giving a plug, but I'm giving, it's actually funny to me because Dave is every engineer I've ever known. I've always been friends with the engineers. Mike at Atlanta, the engineer at BC Broadcasting, because you know you want to be, you want to be friends with the people who actually know how to put stuff together. 
and not just the hoes. But these are the most overworked, underpaid people. Same thing in Florida, too. Same thing in Alabama, too. I work with the engineers because you know what? If you don't pay your engineers, you can get screwed. And that's what you're doing. You want you don't pay your real people. You just want to keep beating them up and beating them up and beating them up. And let me tell you something. If they walk away, like, well, you know, ask yourself when Beasley saw me walk away. Everybody, I never had, it, it, my husband was laughing, Uzi was calling up, everybody was calling, they were calling me up, I wasn't answering the phones like I do now, well I answer the phone sometimes now, Baker was like, you guys, I'm not, what's the answer the phone for? We didn't have conversation after conversation after conversation, they done said what they said, and I said what they, I said. Now, I'm never going to get a full-time job here. They're going to say, well, you're the highest paid part-timer. Big fucking whoop. But I can't get benefits. But they're saying, but you already have benefits because you're married to the man. Nah, bitch. I'm doing the work. I'm writing the commercials, doing the commercials, producing commercials for all the formats. You put the hoe that never even is hardly on the air, both of them, all of them, everybody looking like, how did Val not get promoted? Yeah, how did Val not get promoted? Yeah, how did thou not get promoted? Fuck it. Do you? Y'all nervous as fuck when uh one of the Beasley uh 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 when corporate comes through and we're talking in the elevator. Cause you know I me, mean? I talk to anybody, but I'm not I don't be squealing like all of y'all, but I'm just like, you know, you ask me a question, I'll tell you the truth. And I didn't do that, but you but it was the it was the convert it was how you all looked when we came off the elevator. I didn't even know who she was. I didn't even know who she was, but it was it was the way you all looked. When we came off the elevator, and you're, you know when they get that wild, that wide eye look. And let us not forget, this was one of the best times in my life. My bat, my battery's getting ready to go down, but I gotta say this: this is one of the best times in my life. When you look at like who's the people who really rep for you. I remember when I was sick and I was, uh, I got the flu and blood poisoning at the same time because somebody brought some bad crab or something like that. And one part, it was just bad. But anyway, I got blood, I got food poisoning and the flu at the same time. My hut, hut bake was so like he thought he was gonna lose me, and I was, I can understand how my aunt was not. No, we don't do hospitals, and so it was just bad. I was just, it was just bad. It was just bad. I was throwing up and shit, throwing up and shit, and he was just like, "Let me take," it. and I'm like, "No, no," until I said. Until it got so bad, I, and I meant it, I like, just shoot me. Just, baby, just shoot me. And he was like, what? Just shoot me. Please kill me. Please, I was in so much pain. Please kill me. He's like, you, I'm getting ready to take you to the hospital now. I'm like, no, just kill me. Just kill me now, please. That much pain. Long story short, so I'm out of work. You know, I'm the, I'm the cash cow. I'm out of work for Lord, about two weeks, a week or two weeks. When I come back, uh, uh, the country station, W, uh, WKL, KLM, MLK, whatever, you know, country station. They were having, uh, with the Van Santen brothers, they were having like, it was, it was radio royalty and they had like Buffalo Wild Wings and all this. It had like a whole big spread, whole big spread, whole big spread of food. You know how Negroes can be, you know, especially when we had like two and some of y'all up in, some of y'all that thought y'all were the hot shit in sales and y'all coming up there and wanting to get your free food. <coughs> this is funny. Let me see if I can do this real fast. Y'all were coming up there one again, you know, big old boss. I'm the big sales rep. I'm the big salesman. I, and they were like, nope, nope. Nobody can't get nothing till we, nobody can get nothing. This is our promotion. Nobody can get anything to our fans. This is our promotion. This is for our fans. We work for this until the people that, you know, the Van Sant Brothers or whatever, until our fans come here, nobody gets there. Cause all these people always, they're, they're users. They always got to the point that they think they can just rob everybody. You know, rob, they come up there, you know, always trying to steal the food and say, hey, I can, I can, I can get me something. They had all of them. Mike take off. Nobody, nobody could touch the food. Nobody, no God could touch the food that day. Here I come my first day back to work. I done lost 20 pounds or so, just like with infusion, right? I done lost that much weight. And they were like, welcome me. I was like, oh, you know, it was so beautiful and stuff like that. And, uh, and they were like, you lost way too much weight. Where you been? I'm like, because I was sick. I had flu and I, I had food poisoning too. Like here, here's some, and by this time, I'm still like not eating. So food is like, I really, I really don't. I really can't. No, 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 no. You need to eat. You need to eat here. Here's some food. Now, the best thing about it is, Walter, to all of Mike, to all of them, they were mad. They were big mad because here I am 
here I am coming in, the one who really worked, the one who really made the money, not give them grief, the one who really was a real friend in them, okay? Here they are feeding me, and I didn't even want the food. I didn't even want the food. And then they gave me another plate. This is for Baker, too. Send this one for Baker, so you don't need to cook or anything. Can you imagine? That was one of the best times that ever happened to me at Beasley Broadcast. I will always remember that. That was just the best. That was just, and you know, me you know me you know me I again I wasn't even they were filled so it was it was a win-win because they were tired of that whack-ass system they were tired of them too we were all in a the group they were mad they were really my support because they knew I should have gotten promoted and they know how the people got they know they they knew what was going on and they knew I was really doing the work I was really the good kid doing the work, but I wasn't getting promoted because I wasn't fucking and sucking off everybody. And I wasn't smoking and coking out with everybody. I'm I'm making dollars, bitch. Not snorting them away. What the fuck? So anyway, so, you know, they're giving me all this food. So we had enough food for two days, but it was so funny seeing all the little devils, all the little demons. They mad. They mad because they've been, they salivating. They want the money. They want the food, but they couldn't get any. They didn't let them get any food to probably like about three or four o'clock till they done everything. There's only like a little bit left. I got it all. And like I said, you know me. So I'm going in. I think it was D Rock that was on the air. And I'm going in and I'm going in, you know, with my eating some chicken. I still wasn't hungry, but I'm just me. So I'm like, yum, yum, yum. This show is good. Yum, yum, yum. Want some? Oh, you can't have any. Ah! Yeah, I know that was petty. That was petty. But if you knew what they did to me, that was my redemption day. So I will always love the guys, Don Chase and Alden McCann, because they were cool to me more than the rest of them. Y'all know, if you know, you know, that was a radio show. That was a sermon all at the same time. What would Jesus do? Me, me, whoever Jesus would be. But you better watch. Don't be praying to you and thinking that Jesus was some like looking like, you know, like some no, 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 from Norway. He wasn't blonde hair and blue eyed. No, well, are we back to doing? Oh, now they say that Cleopatra is black. And that it is. It's what we're doing. Bitch, little bitch boy. Come at me and show me. Pray to you. I'm calling you out. Your university is flunked out. Y'all are fake news. You do a few little good things and then you do that shit too. Come and talk to me. Ted Talk. Come and talk to me in reality. Let's have a real talk on the table of integrity. I got stories. I got the history and the history to back it up. But you know, I don't think you want me because you know what? I'm just that tough. Snap. Drop Smike. Class dismissed. Have a good Sunday. I just did. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's the Ranger Manger show. But I thought I think you already know what this is. <laughs>